Chapter 8, Learning Objective 7. Explain and record the acquisition and amortization of intangible assets. Intangible assets are long-lived assets that arise from legal rights and don't have any physical substance. They're classified under the heading Intangible Assets on the balance sheet and are initially recorded at cost, including any expenditures needed to prepare for its intended use. There are a number of different types of intangible assets, and we'll discuss five of the most common ones here, including patents, copyrights, trademarks, franchises, and software. A patent is the exclusive legal right to produce and sell a product or process for a specified period of time determined by the nature of the product or process or legislation in effect. Patents are recorded at cost if they're purchased or if developed internally, is the sum of all of the development expenditures incurred, including staff salaries and benefits. A copyright is the exclusive legal right to publish literary or artistic work for a specific period of time, often over the life of the copyright holder or original artist. A trademark is an exclusive legal right to use a symbol or a logo registered with an appropriate agency. A franchise is the legal right granted from one company to another company to sell particular products or services using a specific trademark or trade name in exchange for payment of a franchise fee, which is capitalized, as well as an annual fee, which is expense. Software that's developed and sold to customers is classified as an intangible asset. Software that's necessary to control a piece of equipment is capitalized with the equipment cost and classified as PPE. Now let's discuss the amortization of intangible assets. Amortization is the systematic process of allocating the cost of intangible assets over their estimated useful life using the same method as is used for PPE. Basically, amortization and depreciation mean exactly the same thing. We just use the word depreciation for tangible PPE assets and amortization for intangible assets. The useful life and residual value are estimated by management, and these are supposed to be reviewed annually for reasonableness. Any changes in these estimates are accounted for prospectively the same as for PPE.